guys, it's Sunday morning and we are, Gabby and I are at the barn for his birthday. She's out at the barn, she's having the day off because she can do whatever she wants on her birthday. So obviously that's not chores. So birthday equals no chores. So this happened yesterday. We put his boot on, changed his bandage, put a brand new boot on and it's falling apart. Yeah, that's what Mom happened. Boot. Like we made this boot too small, that's why it was like that. But you know what? It's gonna be easy to take off. So well, the first boot was big, the second boot was a little bit too wasn't small, but it was like I thought it was perfect. By the end of the week, when we're done doing the treatment, the boot will be perfected and we'll be experts at putting these duct tape boots on. Alright guys, I got Laura a special surprise and it involves Tim Hortons <laughs> and got her a gingerbread ice cap. That's what it looks like. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday and it's my birthday and I made my hair a little darker today so that to, comm to commemorate my birthday. Anyway, welcome to today. Today we've got a lot of things going on. It is already like 3.30 or something, 2.30 and it's- 2.16. Yeah, and today for my birthday, I spent the day doing all my favorite things. I had breakfast in bed. Thank you, for Sophie, me. for bringing me breakfast in bed. I brought you my cup. Oh, did you bring me the coffee? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Gabby, for I coffee. I didn't make any of it. I'm proud. Yeah, Sophie did all the cooking, eggs and a bagel. I did didn't make anything. Oh. I only made a bagel. Well, thank you, Sam, for breakfast in bed. And then, after that, I got to like wash my hair and do my hair and I got to do the laundry. I spent all day doing laundry. I wrapped Christmas presents for hours. I vacuumed and cleaned and yeah, it was so super fun. So uh, we- That's my bracelet. Yeah, so right now, Gabby and, and Sophie and Kaylee over there. Hi. Say hi, Kaylee. She's hi. not- Oh, there she is. Um, they're playing Roblox. The girls want the girls want Robux for Christmas. That's new this year. Last yeah, year, so, like, star coins. oh, and Sarcon coins. I thought we were getting away so with, from that. Right. Um. Anyways, we're getting ready to head out to spend my birthday with the rest of my family. Before we can go, we're going like to the next city over. But before we can go and eat, and this is the thing about having horses. Before we can go and eat, we have to do all the things with our horses and put them away for set, like give them supper and put them in their stalls and do all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made a Storm's dressing before we go. I don't know if Sam videoed it, but apparently his thing did not hold up overnight, his duct tape bandage, his duct tape boot. And it's because when we went shopping last night for duct tape, Sam misled me and said, this is the cheap stuff, get this. And yeah, the cheap stuff is cheap. Do not waste your money. It is so thin. The stuff I bought the day before, I used it all though, um, it was so thick he couldn't even wear through it. So today I'm going to use a lot more of this. That's why it's not cheap because you end up using double the amount for, yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to use more of this and try and reinforce the boot so it's thicker so he doesn't wear through it. But I'm going to show you how I do it. I don't have a big cutting board. I just have these small Pampered Chef ones. And at first I used two of them together to make it. And then I realized I only need one really. Um, but I put them here both anyways. I realize now that Storm's foot is about this big. This is about how big I need. And I basically just start making this band-aid. Band I just start making this boot. I put a couple of strips down, overlapping each other like this to make it, oops, to make it extra strong. It doesn't have to be perfect. It would be nice if it was perfect. Every other one was perfect, but not this one. reinforce it I'm gonna put a couple of strips across because this is this is what happens when you buy cheap duct tape right so this is my duct tape boot all ready to go it'll peel right off this plastic so easy so there it is isn't it gorgeous it's big I make it extra big and then I'm gonna trim off all around the sides I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right, so I've trimmed around it. You guys know Storm does not have a massive 
shoe and then I cut into each corner to make it so that I can put his foot in the middle and then fold these up and it never looks as good as the professional ones but you know what I'm not about perfection I'm about getting the job done and there you have it so Storm's foot will go in the middle and then we'll fold each side up and then yeah that's it it's all sticky anyway we're gonna go down and do all of our chores right now super early so that we can go out and enjoy my birthday dinner come on we could be as one and we'll escape come on we could run away time for supper feel it it burns inside take away the pain we can go insane i can feel it it burns inside we could run away we don't gotta stay i can feel it it burns inside take away the pain we can go insane trust me i won't let you down Fortunately, I have gained 15 pounds of mud on my way down here. Gabby, stop wearing those wood shoes. Funny story. Um, I messaged the farrier last week and said, like, Stella was struggling a few times with the pads in her feet because every time she walked on, every time they got filled with mud and rocks and she walked on the cement, it would push up into this hard plastic thing and cause her pressure and it would look painful. And he's like, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work like that. Like, I understand what you're saying. Nobody believed me. Okay. And then I when, I did because I saw her. Yeah, we, like, saw her. And then he came and he said the same thing. Like, yeah, it's weird that she would do that because they don't work like that. There are these thick pads and no amount of rocks and mud on the outside are going to hurt them. So then he took off her shoes and did everything and he said, you know, funny story. But what you said happened, I think that's exactly what happened. He said he didn't take into account that we have... The kind of mud that gets this thick and attaches to everything and I is like her. cement and glue. She hates me. She hates you? She maybe it's because you're... The body weight though. Maybe it's because you're leaning on her. Anyway, so we decided that we're going to do the chores super early. Which sucks for the horses. Um, but we're only going to give them half of their supper and then we're going to come down at like 9 or 10 tonight and then give them the rest. And so it'll kind of like balance it all out and stuff for them. I love being able to make choices like that. Stella's like, oh no, there's shenanigans. We could have the world to ourselves. Going to a place that's far. Staring at the stars for hours. Cause you're a renegade. I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel it, it burns inside Take away the pain Back up, pony. Back up, cute mini. Back away from my... Hey! Um, hey, be nice. Oh, jeez, that has got to hurt. Bad girl, you're not getting your food first. Get, get, right now, get outside. Get outside, because that is mean, and we are not a mean family. Get, right now, get outside. You are grounded, Missy. <laughs> That's how this works in this family. Do not be getting crazy around me. <laughs> you're lucky. No food for her, huh, Gracie? Oh, minis are terrible little things. Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. She didn't really connect very hard, but holy cow. Minnie, you are mean. I still love you, though. in my life only a couple of times when ignoring has not worked when ignoring has just escalated the situation and occasionally you may have to stand up to a bully and that's what has to happen with Gracie she has to stand up two times in my life have I ever had 
to actually stand up and be like enough and uh, that has worked but in most cases just walk away look at how cute this girl is looking minus all the seven pounds of mud well seven pounds of mud makes you look better yeah like you if you yeah. have seven pounds of mud you're definitely taller you weigh more you're more powerful don't put the mud there now get it off and take it outside. I didn't put that there. Yes, you did. I saw you. No, that one was stuck. No, I just sweep, swept this whole place and that was not there. Come on, Mud. Oh, wow, Laura has been super, Laura is super aggressive today. Did you see me getting Willow in trouble? No, I heard you though. Yeah, I was so mad. Why? It's mean to the min, it mean to Gracie. Oh, All right, Stormy boy. Wow, Gabby, we have to brush him. He rolled today. I won't let you down. I won't let you down. Some gates never get to open because it's too late. I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Find me, find me We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane I can feel that it burns inside me We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel that it burns inside me Take away the pain Before I go up to get the duct tape, say hello to Stella. Say hello to Stella Bella and Finney over there who's having hay. Guys, this is our table. I'm coming. I'm coming. This is our table. I just wanted to show you guys. We are all gonna get some food. Yeah, do you want to? So somebody always has to stay so that we can leave our purse. Stacy's gonna leave her purse. I don't leave my purse. Somebody brought me flowers. Whoa! Beautiful. What the heck? Look at my plate! You took the last plate! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be where I come soon. What are you getting, Brooklyn? Do you like vegetables? Yeah. Ooh, I like broccoli. I love ribs. I love Nana is a meat girl. Yum. Yes, please. Good job, Brooklyn. Oh, wait, look at Gabby's plate. Gabby, show me your plate. Shrimp all the way. No, not all the way. I'm gonna have uh, egg roll, salmon, favorite spot sushi sushi they have dumplings uh oh Gabby 
<laughs> oh dear, you better go get more. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of rice. Be super careful because uh, don't walk here. It's really slippery. Don't walk there. It's really slippery. I'm going to have to get more. No, that way. Gabby spilled something and it's super slippery. So how to get the girl. Okay, everybody get in there and say cheese. You're not in it. I know, I'll get another. But poke your heads in there. Three, two, one, cheese. <laughs> All right, I'll get the guy to come back. Okay, so look at these amazing flowers that I got. It's got gray. You want to see them, Brooklyn? Look. Aren't they gorgeous? So you just want me to take the video and that's it? Yeah. Okay. No problem. This is the waiter to take a picture for us on my camera and he took a picture and he printed it out for us. So this is my birthday celebration at the restaurant and it's a magnet so I can put it on the fridge. Isn't that so cool? You can barely see me because of Mark's head. <laughs> Let Jacob look too. I gave Brooklyn the Schleich um, catalog so that she could see the farm and all the stuff that I want to buy her for Christmas. Are you ready? We're going for dessert. Gabby. I don't like to go with Gabby. She spills stuff on the floor. Nymo bars. You spilled shrimp everywhere. Not my ice cream. Wait, don't let him run. Go to the ice cream bar. All right, so we're gonna get dessert. So this is an ice cream bar. You want ice cream, Jacob? Yeah. Don't touch it. Gabby's right into the chocolate ice cream. Gabby likes chocolate. Oh, black cherry is yummy. All right, open it up there. You got the scoop? Here, let Nana do it, okay? We're gonna get vanilla ice cream. Chocolate sauce, okay, don't, okay. Uh-oh, hold on there. I can do it. Okay, push it down. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, no, okay, yep, that's perfect. Hold on, stay there. Oh, yummy. And then look, Jacob, you can put chocolate cookies or M&M's. Wow, good job. Do you want little chocolate M&M's? Um, yeah. You want chocolate M&M's? Okay, get it out. No. You don't want that? You don't want this, this stuff? No. You don't want it? No. You want to go back and eat it or do you want to get something else too? Go, go back and Okay, hold on to it. Hold on to it tight. is in love with the movie, the show Descendants. I don't know if you guys saw it, but Gabby used to oh, love that show. Wait, this is her favorite song. They say I'm trouble, they say I'm bad, they say I'm evil, and that makes me glad. I didn't know good, down to the bone. Your words not mad, can take me home. So they- We're gonna get copyrighted. No, we're not. That makes me mad. It's good job remembering that. That's amazing. You know what? You know what? That's the part that Gabby liked when she was younger too, because she likes to be bad and evil. Do you like to be bad and evil? Now when I, when I play when I'm playing with my friends, we originally oh, no. play Evil and Mel. Oh no! Evil Mel. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Laura. What are we gonna wish? Okay, what are we gonna wish? What are we gonna wish? Okay, one, two, three, blow it out. Birthday wishes always come true. We already did it, but thank you so much. So you get these hot washcloths and you wash your hands and face, right? Got all the fortune cookies. Got me down there on her phone with her brothers. Now two, two of her brothers right now. Yeah, only two of her brothers are here. But anyway, so every year we, instead of buying presents for each other, we draw names. So we are gonna like draw our names, and everybody's gonna get to buy a present for each other. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Sylvie, we're gonna go youngest to oldest. Don't show any. Just pick one. No, they're not in it. Oh, you have two. Do you have two? Yeah. 
Yeah. If you let yourself put it back. <laughs> you, no, you're not allowed. No, you're not allowed to tell anybody. It's already a cascade. Okay, you want me to tell you who I guess it is? <laughs> I already know. Who do you think it is? No, I already know who Nick has. So. She got me. Because Nick told you? No. Okay, wait, Gabby has to go Nick next. Stacy. So it's already over before it begins? Yes, I'm just saying, anything that goes to Stacy is going to, everyone's going to know. Okay, Stacy, you're like my daughter. Okay, Gabby's like, <laughs> Gabby's like, oh man, who did I get? Okay, wait, pass it. Wait, okay, who goes next? Uh, Kathleen. Good job not looking. So I feel like everybody will tell except for Kyle and Kathleen. Thank you so much for everything. I'll, I'll tell you who I get. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, you don't get to do it. Okay, you pick for daddy. Everybody gets you. Everybody buys a present for you, Brooklyn. Alright. Can I pick one for you? Yeah, you can pick mine. Fine. Okay. Let's look. Don't tell anybody though. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Do you know what it says? No. Okay. No. Don't tell anybody. It's too late. We already know who like everybody has. Don't tell. So here's the thing. In our family, when we, we do Secret Santa, everybody tries to figure it out. Like Nick had to pick before and I already know who Nick and Jesse have. And I know who I have. And I'll know who Kyle. No, I'll know. Yeah, like we all try and figure it out. Stacy and I will get together next week and be like, Ooh, so-and-so got so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. That's what we did last year. I can't do that. All right, this is the crew, and we are headed out. Secret Santa. Guess whose name is behind this? Um, Kyle, do you like grab a cotton candy can I? No, you do not need any more cotton candy, but thanks for asking. No. No. All these people here are here because of me. How amazing is that? Except for Sam. You grab the cotton candy on your way out. You got cotton Can't candy? Wait. I love you. Can't wait. I had such a good birthday dinner. Oh, mints. Am I gonna get a kiss goodbye? Yeah. Mwah. All right, you guys, we are headed home. Uh, we had so much fun. It was amazing. You know how I made that video about the, the bad salespeople that I encountered at the Royal Winter Fail? Dang. Oh, jeez Louise, Sam, that's a that. fuck. <laughs> what the heck? Like, I'm shocked that the camera still works because the camera <laughs> hit the roof. Oh my that gosh. Well, there goes all the food that I just ate. I didn't see that. <laughs> speed bump. This is speed bump. It's not even Okay, yellow. so anyways, uh, that was amazing. Like, I talked about the, the bad experience I had with salespeople, but what I really should be talking about is how amazing. Like, those salespeople or those waiters and waitresses were incredible. They came and took pictures, they, they're they just so kind and it was amazing. But I spent, I had a really good time with my family. Everybody was in great spirits. And the one thing you guys might not know about us is that I can't keep a secret. Maybe you guys do kind of know that about me. I don't know. But I showed Brooklyn everything that I bought her for Christmas. I bought, I bought her like a like barn and some horses and I want to get her started. She doesn't have any of that stuff. And so I just, I brought the catalog and one thing led to another and before, and she's like, I really like this barn. I'm like, oh no, that's not a good barn. I brought you the new barn that's pink and white. And she's like, pink and white. And then I looked it up online. I showed her the barn and then we got looking at all the things it comes with. And then one thing led to another. And then before long, Brooklyn knows everything that she gave for Christmas for me. I did buy her pajamas and she doesn't know that. But anyway. I don't care. It's all good. It's all good when it's done in love. And she's excited. She kept saying, Nana, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited for Christmas. But anyway, um, I'm going to end today's vlog. I don't know if it's a short one. I don't know. I don't think we vlogged very much today. But thank you guys um, for all the birthday wishes. And happy Thanksgiving to you guys because in America, uh, you guys are having Thanksgiving, I think. Is it today or is it next Thursday? To Princess Street. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving too. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.